Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can add a box into an AR kit game. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, first things first, let me just open up our Xcode here and I will just show you what I have added. Well, we will add this box into random places into our uh, scene. So I have created an extension for our float that is called random minimum and maximum and it throws up uh, us a random number between the set minimum and maximum number. So go ahead and take a look at it in the GitHub repo. So speaking of which, I will just create a new branch from the current branch and I will just simply create it and name it add a box. Okay, let's create this one and now I will just go into my game view controller and of course you want to add this box into the scene and when the plus button is tapped so we will just find the handle plus button tapped function and uh, let's go ahead and type in here add box okay and of course we need to create this function so let's scroll down below and add here func and a box and here we go and now we want to create an SEN node so let's type in or maybe not it doesn't really matter and this will be an SEN okay because in the AR kit uh, games we you'd use scene kit uh, elements okay and now we want to give this box node a geometry um, well a box size or a geometry for it we will talk about other types of geometries in the next video so for now let us just add our geometry of SCN box okay and this will be of width now you have here width height length and chamfer radius now the width height and length is pretty self-explanatory for the chamfer radius is kind of a, a, a rounded um, rounded corners thing for 3d elements so the width will be in uh, meters so i will just want to add a five centimeter uh, width height and length for this box so I just type in 0.05 for the height the same 0.05 and the length to 0.05 chamfer radius well let's just test it out how it looks with zero chamfer radius and uh, finally well not finally uh, the next thing we want to add is a position so box node dot position these uh, should be familiar if you come from a sprite kit a background if not then go ahead and learn with uh, these tutorials so we will use SCN vector free and we will just drop it onto the center of our region so 0 0 and 0 we will modify this later on as uh, this uh, video progresses. And finally, we want to add this box node to the scene. Root node, because we want to add it to the root node and add child node and box node. That is it, four lines of codes. Okay, uh, maybe we should make this to let, maybe not. Uh, for now, constant is okay. So uh, let me just drag up our movie maker here so you may see my uh, iPhone and let's select first of all let's select our iPhone of course you know you need a real device to test out uh, AR kit games uh, let me just open it up and it should load in a minute well in a few seconds actually 
Here we go. Okay. Let us just wait for it to see. And here we go. Here we have our origin. These yellow dots are the ones that the game is processing the environment. So we want to add a new box. So I will just back up a little bit. <laughs> it kind of looks funny now, but I will tap on the plus button down below. Here we go. Good stuff. We have a box here. It kind of looks like a box. We can't see the edges. It's a white box, but we will take care of this in a minute. So let us just stow this and let's add a color to our box, okay? So after we create our geometry, so box node, geometry, and the, this geometry has a first material, the first material that you can see. So let's type in first material dot and if you want to change the contents of this first material, you have to type in diffuse and contents and we will add for now a UI color and let it be of and I will just uh, select my uh, a red, green and uh, blue extension that we have created in the earlier uh, video. So uh, let it be, well, let's see now. Well, uh, I changed my mind. I would just use uh, red here. Okay, it is pretty straight forward and you will see a red box here. And we will, uh, well, let's see if we can see some shadows. Okay, here we go. Let us just wait for it a little bit. Here we are, and let's put it there. Great, a red box, but we still can't see those edges. And that is because lightning isn't uh, enabled. So we want to enable the lightning on our scene so we may see some shadows. And this is made pretty simple. So let's go to we are to our view did load and uh, we want to write AR view auto enable default lighting and let's set this to true and this will create an ambient light in our scene let's build and run again and see how this looks like okay let's wait for it just a minute here we go let's add our box and now you can see those edges and you can see those shadows if you go up or down great good stuff now let's see that chamfer radius okay let's uh, modify this a little bit well fairly little bit because i want to add 0.002 now let's build and run again and you will see some kind of a roundness to this corner. Okay, let's see if I was correct. Okay, here we go. Let's add our box and there you have it. You can see those. Maybe I will just add a little bit more just for you to see what I am talking about. 0 0.02. Let's build and run again quickly and after that I will add a material to the shape of our geometry okay let us just wait a little bit here we go there you go now you can see that okay good stuff now what we want to do is first of all let us just change this back to 0 0.002 and add a new material to uh, our box. Uh, first of all, let's add a new asset and I have created a material here. It doesn't really matter. It looks good because it is a very uh, huge dimension, but uh, I will just drag and drop it here. You can use anything else that you want. Now, let's go back to game view controller and instead of a UI color let us just 
use, let's build and run so we can get the completion. And now let us just type in material and you will be able to select it. And now let's build and run again. Let's see it in action. Let's wait for it to prepare. And as you can see the yellow dots, you can move around and let's add a new box with this new material and it looks awesome if I made so myself. Okay, now let us just talk about this vector free because uh, now it is at the origin of our scene. Now, these are X, Y and Z values. So on the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis. Now, if we wanted to put that box a little further from our region, then we would, for example, add minus 0.3. Now let's build and run and you will see that it is 30 centimeters uh, to the uh, back of our origin. So I just move like this so I can get the origin. Okay, let's wait for it. Here we go, there is our origin and now let's add our box. As you can see, it really has a distance. Uh, let me just point my finger there. Well, here is and according to Apple, this is 30 centimeters and we have a five centimeter by 10 centimeter by five centimeters box there at an origin. Of course, if we would have made this a positive number, then it would be in front of us. Well, in front of the origin, because then uh, after the origin is settled, when you launch your game, then you can walk around that origin and you can take a look at this beautiful box. Okay, now that we are done with that, uh, we can move on to adding uh, more nodes, like, uh, well, more uh, geometries, and that will be a, a different video that will come tomorrow. And uh, we will talk about squares and uh, other geometries that are included in the, SC, uh, the SCN uh, nodes scene. Now that is all you have to do in order to add an SCN box. Well, let's take a look at our SCN node. Well, rather not because I am going to talk in depth in the next video where we will add more shapes and geometries, of course, uh, uh, not just a simple box. So I will see you in the next one where I will be adding more and more uh, geometry shapes of course, they are all scene kit shapes. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in the next one.